Which dish makes a typical Sunday lunch for you? If I had to answer as a Neapolitan, I would definitely tell you ragu. But every now and then, even we make something different. For example, roast veal with potatoes. Would you like to have the recipe? Let's start. Let's see the ingredients. Veal bottom sirloin, rosemary, garlic, white wine, potatoes, salt, pepper and oil. Let's start with the potatoes, which I have already washed and dried, so I can peel them. I'm using a potato peeler, but you can do it with a knife to remove the peel. Then I cut it into four parts to dice it into pieces of the same size and continue with all the others. Once the potatoes are diced, I'll season them with a pinch of salt and pepper. Then a nice drizzle of oil, rosemary, I'll keep one spring aside and I'll cut the other with the scissors. And now the garlic cloves that we have to ammunare, that is to clean. Let's toss everything by hand. I'll transfer my potatoes to a baking tray which I will grease first. I'll distribute them on the dripping pan like this, leaving some space in the middle, which is where we'll place the meat. And these delicious chips go in the oven, preheated, static mode at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. In the meantime, we can tie the meat. I'll show you how to do it. But first, we have to clean it from this silver skin, which could become chewy during cooking. I'll use a fillet knife and stab it slightly this way. Then uh, hold the flap and slide the blade. You want to hold the tissue firmly between your fingers to avoid the scraps. And once we have cleaned it, we can now tie the meat. I'll take some butcher's twine and run it under the meat, like this. Then I'll lift one end and I'll tie a double knot. Then I run the twine around my hand twice, this way to form a loop and put to the meat through. I tighten the twine around the meat and tie a knot in the middle. I'll keep going like this until the roast is tied. You want to keep a distance of one centimeter between one knot and the other. I'll flip the meat over, voila, and tie another knot. I can cut to the ends and finally tuck the rosemary under the twine. Now I'll dust at the top with some salt and pepper. And I'll roll the roast in order to season it evenly. Let's go to the stove. I'll heat a drizzle of oil. When the oil is hot, I can start browning the meat. I let the meat seal well like this, the juices will remain inside and to leave it tender and moist after the oven. I sear to the meat well, the bottom is hot, I can glaze it with white wine. I'll give it time to cook off and then take the meat to the oven. I'll place it here in the middle, where I handmade room for it, and then I coat it with the sauce. My roast will cook in about 35 minutes, but just play it safe. I'll use a thermometer. When the internal temperature reaches 65 degrees, then it will be ready. The very roast with potatoes is just the dish for special occasions. 
bring it to the table and you'll impress your guests. Its aroma will fill the house and your effort will be rewarded by the great compliments you will receive. Did this recipe make you hungry? Cook it yourself and then let me know.